Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes. So I've got a quick tip tutorial for you today. This is actually one I've done before in the past, um, but there's been some updates. It's Fusion 360, of course there has. Uh, it's 2022 and it was time for a refresher. So let's look at the way you can export a 3D model or multiple 3D models for a 3D printing. So there's a bunch of different ways you can actually accomplish this, but I'm gonna show you the one way you really need to know. All right, let's jump right in. Okay, let's say you have three bodies, which I obviously don't yet. So let me come in with a circle, a rectangle, and why don't I grab my polygon tool here and create a triangle for my third shape. Give it three sides there, finish that sketch. E for extrude, let's go ahead and extrude these out. Okay, there we have it. We've got our three bodies, and you can see here if I expand my bodies folder, one, two, and three. You can see all their, the visibility of all three is on, which is important. Okay, let's get to the meat of this here. So it seems like there's 101 different ways in Fusion 360 to export a model for 3D printing. Um, but I'm gonna show you just the one way you really need to know. You don't really need to know all the others because this is the most useful way. So what you're gonna do is right click up here, right under your browser, this will be the name of your project and because I haven't saved it, it says unsaved. So right click there and then go down to save as mesh. This used to be called save as STL, now it's save as mesh because you've got a bunch of different formats that have been added. You've got 3MF, STL, and OBJ. Let's uh, keep it as STL right now. Um, you're gonna wanna do 3MF for most of the things, or maybe all. But let me just show you why, and I'll now select STL first. And the other um, option here that I always have checked is uh, send to 3D Print Utility. That's because most of the time I tend to go straight to my slicer, and I'll have that checked. If you uncheck it, it'll save it to a folder and then you can you know, then add it from the folder to the slicer. Or if you wanna upload to a site like Thingiverse or Prusa Printers, for example, um, you can go ahead and keep that unchecked. All right, I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna click OK. Fusion's gonna open up my Prusa slicer here and it's going to throw my models right in. All right, so this was brought in as an STL and I can see a problem here. It did bring all three models, but you can see here, I, I can't, you know, move these, or I can't separate them and move them individually. They came in as one body here, um, which is a pain, because let's say one, it doesn't fit on my build plate here, and I can't bring the triangle closer to the square. The other issue, if I want to, for example, make the rectangle a little higher, I can't just go to, you know, if I change the height on one of them to scale it, let's say they're all gonna scale. So, okay, so that's the pain with going with STL. So let's delete that, let me go back to Fusion, and let's repeat that same procedure. Uh, go down to Save as Mesh, but this time we're gonna change STL to 3MF, and we're gonna click OK. Okay, now we brought the same model in. Notice here you have body one, two, and three. I'm gonna click outside of the model, and now I can select these individually and move them around. So that's a big plus here um, with what you get with exporting as a 3MF versus a, an STL file because you can quickly bring them in as separate bodies and just modify them. Now if I want to take that triangle for example, um, maybe increase the size here, let's say maybe by 120%, you know, I can do that without affecting the rest of them. You can see it's taller, um, go even bigger, like. 200% here. You can see it's a lot bigger. Okay, so let me show you another thing you could do here is if we go back to Fusion, uh, let's say we only want to send the, the rectangle here. So let's uncheck both of these other bodies and then right click, save as mesh, make it 3MF, click OK. And we have just the one body, delete. We want to send only these two bodies, right click, save as mesh, change it to 3MF, OK. And there we have it. I can now move these in place. So that's the secret sauce there. Go ahead and when you send these for 3D printing, just right click here and do save as mesh. Forget about all the other methods. And then all you have to do is just make sure that the bodies that you do wanna send that they are toggled on here. 
if you untoggle them, they will not be sent. So you can choose what you want sent or not. All right, guys, that's the quick tip for today. Hope you enjoyed this one. Subscribe for more tutorials like this, and I'll be back in a few. Oh, make sure to check out my Fusion 360 Constraints Cheat Sheet if you haven't done so. Link is below.